Hey guys, welcome to the new year, baby. Baby, it was giving white cast. We not doing it. Y'all, we are in the new year. Literally, it is 2023. Oh my goodness. I just want to say happy new year to everybody. I hope that everybody brought in their new year peacefully. And I really wish much, much, much success and abundance and peace on y'all life. I want us all to stay focused, no slacking off. This year, I don't know why, but I have received like a message, not from like a person, like spiritually. It's really time to have tunnel vision, baby. I feel like since I'm taking these steps to really like center and refocus myself, like it's giving, I don't see nothing unless it's the goal right in front of me. That's it. <laughs> this year's motto for me is if you stick with me, if you sticking with me, you sticking with me. If you're not, you're not. Like, I'm not about to be running, taking my attention off of my goal. Like, I have things I need to accomplish. Like, I am a hardworking woman. I do a lot. I want a lot. And I will receive what I want as long as I stay focused on the goal right in front of me. I feel like this year is really, really, like, pushing me. I know y'all all think I'm, like, super, super fearless with everything that I do. But like I go through the same emotions that y'all go through. And I'm gonna use this for an example. When I had went to Tulum, I was like, oh my gosh, like I really wanna jump off this boat, but I don't know how to swim. So I'm so scared. Like I'm over here like, ah, like should I do it? Should I not do it? Ah, I don't know. Like I'm in my head so much. And I'm just like, you know what? Grab this life vest. I'm gonna say the life vest is God. Grab god grab that faith put it on put it on strap it on make sure it's tight and go for it jump you know what i'm saying because as long as you got faith on everything you're going to float i can't swim i jumped in that water i didn't drown why not because God got me, dog. God got me. Like, what do you mean? There's no failure when you trust in God. Like, honestly. All I gotta say is, I'm saying this to myself too, just go for it. If you feel strongly, so strongly about achieving this goal and it's making you feel a little uncomfortable or you're like, oh man, I gotta, I gotta move. I gotta shift from my comfortability. Do it do it and you might not know everything that you need to know right now but i'm i promise you you will learn it as you progress i hope that touched somebody and i hope that motivated somebody to go after what you've been thinking about mm -hmm. i'm talking to you i'm talking to you yeah anyways guys i'm about to go pick up my packages If you guys don't know, I am teaching a parting masterclass and I have a few students. I'm so, so freaking happy. So let me just put this together. It seems pretty simple. I didn't even need to read the instructions. So I'm trying to get content as well as package these orders. That is the thing with being everything if you're the brand manager if you are the social media manager if you are the person who packages the products um and also makes the products so 
if you're doing everything it can be tedious it can be time consuming when you are trying to package orders or you're trying to do something because you're like oh this is a good time for me to catch some content so i can post and promote my products um so yeah i'm just gonna give you guys a little background a little you know behind the scenes freaking business it's like i have no space Right, guys so i just finished packaging all the orders it got dark so fast y'all i am about to just relax <laughs> probably get some food or cook some food depending on how i feel y'all i didn't go to sleep till six in the morning six in the morning on january 1st literally new year's i was up till six in the morning why I was really just working on like business stuff so once I get my mind fixated on something there is no letting up I'm actually cooking so my neighbor has like food poisoning I've never had food poisoning a day in my life thank you god please don't let me get this shit so I thought it would be really nice to just go bring some tea over and to um possibly bring some food I don't know what type of food my neighbor likes so maybe not so I'm gonna make some quinoa, purple sweet potato, um, and I have some okra. So I'm gonna chop that up, do like a curry okra. So I have quinoa and couscous mixed together. Um, I did some curry okra. Oh, some curry okra over top with some purple sweet potatoes. And these are so sweet, like, oh my goodness, they're so freaking good, y'all. That's all I'm eating. I'm probably gonna get some more because it's mad. I'm probably gonna eat this whole pan tonight, if we being honest. I also did some elderberry tea with um, elderberry chamomile to like relax, wind down. Cause I plan on going to sleep early. I'm sick and tired of staying up late. Mm. I'm about to receive that this food nourish my mind, my body, my spirit, Lord. Amen. Mm. Mm. I love me some okra. 
Wow. And these purple sweet potatoes, oh my goodness. They have like a real cakey texture. All right guys, I will see you tomorrow. Peace out. Good morning guys, it is the next day. Um, I'm about to go ship out orders. So I'm gonna take you all with me. Y'all, I cannot stand the post office. Like they, the post office be so unprofessional. Let's talk about that. They be having long ass lines and then they don't be open after the holidays. Like it ain't the holidays no more. Bring your ass to work. It's what, January 2nd? Why is the post office closed? It's Monday morning. This morning has been funny as shit. Literally, I'm in bed. I hear like a big crash sound like somebody hit somebody's car. And like the way that my street is set up, like there's a lot of people who always honking. I'm that nosy neighbor. I'm going to look out my window. I'm going to look over my balcony and check and see whatever. I'm the nosy neighbor. I don't give a fuck. So I heard a crash. Then I hear mad police. And I'm like, damn, the police came mad fast. This can't be no motherfucking car crash. So I was like, this gotta be like a high speed chase going on. So I look out my window. The dude crashed into the fucking building. And I see a man running. He is running. <laughs> He is fucking running and the police is chasing him. And he running slow as shit, bruh. I was like, come on now. Child, it's giving ghetto. It's giving all of that. And this is not a ghetto neighborhood, baby. But anyways, today I am going to be meal prepping because I noticed that like when I'm busy, I will forget to eat. So I told myself, look, if we want to be consistent with our weight goals, we have to set a day aside for meal prepping. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make like breakfast jars and I'm going to, you know, make some like sweet potato bowls type of stuff with some quinoa. I got wild rice that was soaking last night and I got some chickpeas. And I also got like fruits and stuff so I can like cut those up make those easily accessible to me so I don't have to worry about cutting up fruit. All right guys, so I am going to be making two types of chia pudding, two tablespoons of chia seeds. I'm going to make a chocolate chia pudding and I'm going to add some chopped walnuts and the consistency is already feeling a bit thick. Lines made mushroom powder. And then we're just going to seal this up and keep it in the fridge overnight. The next pudding is going to be an apple pie pudding. So I'm, I have some chopped up Granny Smith apples. And I'm just going to place those in there. I love texture, so the more texture, the better. I'll add the Lion's Mane's powder, and I'm just gonna do a teaspoon of that. We're going to add a dash of cinnamon. If you want to add pecans, if you want to add no nuts, um, you know, whatever fits your flavor profile. Oh, that tastes so good. We got the wild rice already made, nice and hot. And then in here is, oh shit, it's hot a little bit. It's the sweet potatoes. I ain't even finna touch that have everything fall. A little bit of onion powder is in this lemon pepper seasoning to give it that lemony taste. I'm gonna give that a quick little stir around. Girl, I ain't got no clothes on. Okay, so much respect for chefs. Much respect for people who meal prep and record that shit. Because, bro, that shit was hard as fuck. Like, I'm over here trying to record. I'm like, bro, I'm over this. Let me just cook. Like, I was just like, you know what? Y'all just gonna get snippets of what I did. But, um, everything's already put away. I just had a really good time cooking with myself. Besides recording, after I 
like put the camera away i really had a good time just like being naked i was naked dancing in my kitchen cooking like washing dishes naked just feeling good feeling my body like damn boo like i love the body that i'm in i love the skin that i'm in hello good morning good morning i am late again i just i don't understand why i'm always late um not like od but like slightly late so today i am going hiking it feels really good outside it's like 55 degrees almost 60 degrees i love this type of winter i'm going to eat first but <laughs> I brought a little snacky snack, some chocolate chia pudding. I am going to catch you guys later. I'm letting my car warm up. I'm going to head to this Indian food spot. I've never had it. It's like 30 minutes away. And I'm supposed to be there at 12.30, but it's 12.20. So how am I going to get there in 10 minutes? So anyways, <laughs> all right, guys. I will catch y'all when I'm there. Bye. You know, I should do more of this. Good thing about being a man. Being a man. Yeah, i too. So I could just grab it right now? These are in particular kind of old, but yeah, you could. But they're really old. They got algae on them. Mm. And these are the real ones. So you got false turkey tails, which don't have these um the pores on them. Interesting. And these are the That's called the cambium. Oh, it's breaking. I have a lot of like businessy errands to run. And guys, I lost, I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday, but I lost my motherfucking debit card. I don't know when, probably when I was at that um that Indian like vegetarian buffet. I feel like I dropped it somewhere in the parking lot. But I did not want to go back and go get it. So I just reported it lost and stolen. Oh, and I have to get some things for my friend's birthday. So she just moved here from Cali to Atlanta. And I'm so excited to see her, y'all. Like, we've been, like, virtual friends. Like, and I am not that great at texting. I feel like we both kind of are equal at like being really bad texters. I kind of don't mind that. Like that's okay with me. You didn't text me till three days later, cool. That is perfectly fine. As long as you're doing okay and you, we still cool, it's cool with me. I'm so, so, so excited to celebrate her birthday. Let's go. All right guys, so I got all my banking stuff dealt with, well, slightly because I have an appointment with them at three o'clock. I just wanted to come on here and, be, and tell y'all, I am new to this business thing. Although I have been an entrepreneur since 2017, but a full-time entrepreneur since 2020, I'm still learning like what it takes to really own and run a business. And I'm just trying to get everything legally dealt with. And it's just so like, I wouldn't say it's difficult because there's so much on the internet nowadays where we can easily find what we need to find. It ju it's just a matter of fact of doing the research and dedicating the time to getting those things done. So coming from like a family of foreigners who kind of just went with the American dream route, you know, get a job, work until retirement, I kind of stepped outside the box out of all my siblings so I'm really doing this like 
from my own knowledge. Um, I don't have family that could really help me through this process. Um, so yeah, it's, it's interesting, but I'm so proud of myself for figuring these things out and doing what I need to do. I'm finna get me a full scent and a pedicure, baby. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hey guys, I got my little pink French. This is the first time I ever did it. And then the pink French tip nails to match. Hey guys, I am on my way to my first silks class. I just want to show y'all my little outfit. I feel like I wear this on a motherfucking time. But yeah, I got this top. Um, Just these bottoms. And I just threw on a little jacket because it is a little cold. And I got my slick ponytail little bun situation going on. I'll link the video up here in the iCard. So my class starts at 6 and I have to head out because traffic. I got a desk for my business. So I'm going to do like organization and everything when I get, well not when I get back. Probably in a few days. <laughs> Alright guys, we are here at Sky Bar. I'm so excited. My lip gloss. All right, guys. So we are going to Salata. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello.